Hey Pit Masters, what is up? Today we're going to make the Scorpion Steak. Look at this beautiful giant rib roast. Look at those bones. It's enormous. We're going to turn this into scorpion steak. My friend Eric Gephardt came up with a new way to present your steak. The scorpion steak. Let me show you how it's done. We need the size of three bones so we don't need the whole thing. I'm cutting off the two smaller bones. Look at that inside. Look at how good that looks. We'll cut off these two outside bones first. We only need the middle bone. Now I'll flip it over. We'll detach the bone and keep two fingers attached. This will do the trick. Now flip it over and cut right through the center. Look at that, we got a scorpion steak. Now we're going to tie this up. First thing that I want to do is make a loop in my thread. We want the loop to be at the back of the steak. So I'll put it here, center the butcher twine, and then we're going to go for our first time around the steak. Get that bone out, get it nice and popping. There we go, looking good. Then we'll go for our second run. Then we'll secure it, take off the rest of the wire, and then with our hands shape it until we get the shape that we're looking for. And that is how you make the scorpion steak. Look at how cool this look. Time to fire up the grill and get it roasted. Oh. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my storage. When I don't use it, I just might as well put the cast iron grill grates in and keep everything in. So uh, yeah, we gotta clear it out. We already have some of that big block charcoal left in there from our last cook. Now we're going to take some hot embers from our stove and put it in the grill. We'll put some more big block charcoal in there so we can get enough heat. Put the grill grates in. And we'll let the barbecue come up to temperature of around 160 degrees Celsius. I, I, th I think I changed my mind. I want to roast it over direct heat uh, at 160 degrees, but with a direct heat, with a big cut like this, it's giant. So I think I'm going to go with indirect, same heat, same temperature, 160 degrees Celsius. So let's put the heat deflector in. Our barbecue is almost up to temperature, so it's time to get our meat ready. We want to get some flavor on there. We want to smoke it, put some flavor on. Because this is such a thick cut of beef, I'm first going to make a base layer out of salt and pepper. It's always good to get a little bit of pepper on your board and then press the meat on it. Way easier than sprinkling it on. I was thinking about a rub. How about the bombastic rub? That will put this beauty on the grill. Now we'll set it over indirect heat. To make sure that I got the right temperature inside our meat, I'm gonna check it with the Grill Eye Pro. Grill Eye has been kind enough to send me one of these. So let's pop the probe into our scorpion steak, close the lid and let it roast. Look at that nice big display. We can see the core temperature of our meat. We can see the dome temperature. You can even plug in up to eight probes. That's fantastic, right? And when I leave my home, I downloaded my app so I know what's going on even when I'm shopping. This thing got Wi-Fi. Grilla, I sent me six of these thermometers. That means that I can measure six times eight. That, that's 48 pieces of meat. That's way too much. <laughs> way too much for me. So I'm going to give five away to you guys. If you want to find out how we're going to do that, watch till the end. I got some nice pumpkins. We're going to make something delicious out of that. I like these bottle pumpkins a lot. Let's open one up. Take a look inside, look at that. Roasting these are going to make them delicious. Absolutely gorgeous. Yellow, lighter orange and a dark orange. We'll scoop out the seeds. We'll slice them up and roast them on the barbecue. We're going to sprinkle on a lot of olive oil, put on a little bit of salt and pepper to season it, and then we'll put it on the grill. <laughs> I was just checking my Instagram and uh, the meat is done. Well, almost done. I set it to uh, alarm me four degrees up front, so uh, we know what's going on. We can check on it. Wow, look at that. 
This looks really promising. Is that a, a Gephardt trick? That's a Gephardt trick. And uh, let's get this thing off the grill, Dream Team. Look at how juicy that is. Ooh. <laughs> Making sure I got the shot. That might just be a thumbnail. Time to get our roasted pumpkins off. They should be done by now. Oh yeah. They got a nice little, oh, look at that. Lights bit of char on them, but at the same time, they're super soft. I was thinking of taking the skin off and making this into something delicate and fine dining. But look at this. This just screams finger food. All we need to do is plate it up, dress it up a little bit, and then we're ready to go. I think you have to taste it first. But it's not done yet. No. <laughs> so let's plate it up. Pro tip, these are spicy almonds. We're gonna crush those. Now we'll sprinkle them over our sweet roasted pumpkins. And a few microgreens to dress it up. Drizzle on a little bit of hot maple syrup. To top that off, we're gonna make a delicious sage butter. Melt some clarified butter, chop fine some sage, mix it all together, and then just sprinkle it on. Look at this beautiful dish. It looks absolutely amazing. It was the right choice not to cube it up and make it all fancy. I wanna bite into one of these. There we go. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> mm, this is super super soft and it's roasted and it has that sweetness and then with the maple syrup more sweetness comes in and the butter and the sage and the spiciness of the almonds it's, it's really really good mm. but of course what we're all interested in is that scorpion steak what does it look like and what will it taste like we got to work our way through these little twines here, these butcher twines. So we'll do that first. Look at there, that's a ribeye. Oh yeah. Look at how juicy and how good that looks. First I wanna get a little bit of that outside. I love that, that the crust. Of course we build it up with flavor. So take a bite of that. Mmm. The crust is always the best part. Mmm. Oh, look at that. Cooked to perfection. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's take a bite of that. Mmm. Mmm. Come on, man. Sure. That tastes good, right? <laughs> a good crust and a beautiful moisture inside. This is fantastic. An absolute killer steak. The scorpion steak. Wow. A dish like this is something that is for a special occasion. I know it doesn't really make sense to cut up a beautiful rib roast, but if you got a celebration, if you want to impress somebody, this is the way to go. This is really fantastic and really impressive. The grill I did a great job. I love that thermometer. It works really well. I had the older version. It worked really well too. And they came out with a new one. Now we're going to give it away. You have to go to Discord. The link is down below in the video description. So go there and from now on, every week we're gonna be giving one away. And it's gonna be a raffle. So if you're in the server, you're ready to go. You will be in the raffle instantaneously. So be there and uh, you know, I'm there as well. So hit me up. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure you check out Eric Gebhardt's his inter Instagram account, at Eric Gebhardt, it's really easy to find. Thank you to our patrons, you guys are true heroes. And uh, you know what the drill is, you know, hit the like button, leave a comment down below and uh, I wanna see you guys in the next video. Until then, it's Maklik and keep on grilling.